Soon, Thomas was shiny and squeaky clean. He felt more important than ever. But as the workers coupled Annie and Clarabelle, they heard a strange sound. What's that? asked Thomas anxiously. His driver quickly oiled Annie and Clarabelle's undercarriage. That should take care of the bothersome squeak, he said. On the way to the docks, Thomas heard the squeak again. He was worried. It didn't sound like his squeaky clean squeak. Thomas squeaked noisily into the quayside, where Alicia Body was waiting. Sir Topham Hat held Clarabelle's door open when, a mouse! Alicia Body screamed, and she screamed and she screamed and she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. Definitely a coloratura, said Gordon. Alicia Body was cross. I can't possibly travel in coaches riddled with mice. Sir Topham Hatt was very embarrassed, and Thomas didn't feel important at all. Just then, Percy returned from his guaranteed connection. Look at the little green engine, Alicia Body exclaimed. So sweet and dirty, like a proper steam engine. But he's filthy, Gordon huffed snootily. But I clean up nice, smiled Percy. He was glad somebody noticed. Alicia Body boarded the train and Percy steamed away. He felt very proud.